Okay guys, so in this video, we are going to explore the concept of oscillation. Oscillators are special circuit configurations that convert DC to AC. Oscillators use a concept known as feedback to allow them to oscillate. When circuits oscillate, they produce many waveforms, but the most common are square, sine, or triangular in nature. There also exist many complex waveforms as well, but that is beyond the scope of this video. When we say an electronic circuit has feedback, it means we are taking some of the output of the circuit and feeding it back into the input. We are all familiar with the concept of feedback. If you ever heard loud screeching on a microphone at a stadium, then you know about feedback. In this case, the feedback is the output of the speakers being fed back into the microphone. For oscillators to operate properly, in addition to feedback, there must also be enough gain in the feedback part and the phase of the signal that is put back in the circuit must be in sync. Oscillators are very important electronics, particularly digital ones. From microcontrollers and FPGAs running at tens of megahertz to microprocessors running at several gigahertz. These circuits depend on the mechanical resonance of a crystal oscillator to produce oscillation. We can see the oscillation of a crystal oscillator with a so-called Culpit crystal oscillator circuit. The Culpit crystal oscillator uses a transistor emitter to provide feedback to the circuit via a capacitor divider which is C1 and C2. We see that the circuit is stable, producing a constant amplitude and frequency that works well for most applications. We can also construct the so-called push-pull oscillator that is the basis of many power amplifier circuits and cheap square wave inverter circuits. We can build one with a couple of transistors and a transformer. When we build an oscillator, we see that we are using capacitors to provide the feedback of the output into the input. Since the capacitors have charge and discharge rates, it causes the transistors to turn on and off, which results in oscillation. While it is desirable to construct oscillators of a fixed frequency, sometimes it is necessary to vary the frequency of the oscillation at will. For this purpose, we'll need to use a variable frequency oscillator. Function generators are a good source of oscillation for your projects. Since function generators produce a frequency that can be varied at will, we can use them to test the frequency response of circuits, such as when we are designing filters. The XR2206IC is a popular choice for DIY signal generation, and it can generate sine, square, and triangle waves. If we look at a data sheet of the XR2206, we see that at the core is a voltage-controlled oscillator, which is a type of variable frequency oscillator. With this configuration, we can obtain a frequency from 100 Hz to about 10 kHz, and the IC was tested to be stable up to a frequency of about 500 kHz. The IC has some useful features, such as a way to vary the amplitude of the waveform. Keep looking out for oscillators, as they are sure to be a component of many circuits we will come across. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.